Yo, what's up everybody and welcome back. I am the 8-Bit Gent and today we are diving into an episode of horror, Fears of Fathom, episode 2, Norwood Hitchhike. So, without further ado, let's get into this. Let's go, baby! Fears the Fathom, Episode 2, Norwood Hitchhike, June 16. This happened to me when I was 19. I'm a little over 21 now. I still remember this very clearly because of how creeped out I felt. I was a bit hesitant to write this out for the internet at first, but getting it out may help, even just a little bit. I was one of those people that loves gaming conventions. Me too! I'd go to every convention I get the chance to, and sometimes even meet some of my online friends. Though my parents weren't always thrilled at the idea of me going on interstate drives, but a plane ticket would have been too expensive. Eh. I feel it. Maybe not right now. Plane tickets are pretty fucking cheap. <laughs> this convention I was at went great, and it was now the day to drive back home. But when I set off, I soon realized the traffic was horrible. I decided that I'd take the long way to avoid the traffic. It was a little over a 12-hour drive. Eh, that's, that's not terrible. <laughs> Oh, we actually get to drive. Mm -hmm. I hope this isn't an actual song. Let's be terrible. Let's text and drive. Oh, God. All right, let's see what this is going on. Oh, it's not going to pick a trailer. That sucks. It's uh, not too good here either. I think the people from the convention... Uh, that's it. I'm rerouting here. You gotta do what you gotta do. Who is this? It's Dad. Charlie, don't forget to call me. You got it, Dad. Anything else? Leave me now. Address it. Okay. Cool. <laughs> and we're on our way. Hey, watch out. Meow. Look at this go. So can we like just get out anywhere? Dad. Chill out. Where did you reach? Still about six hours away from the city, you got stuck in a jam. Alright, let's get let's get out real quick. Let's see what's uh Can we uh just Wander away from the car? Oh, I guess we can a little bit. Music's getting a little intense. All right, let's uh, let's get back in. I was just curious. That was for science. And away we go. At least we got some good tunes on. <laughs> ah, shit. And there goes our fuel line. You're halfway through the driver. realized that was low on gas. That's a problem. No planning. This is what terrible planning leads to. Always get gas before you divert. Because you don't know where the nearest gas station is. Dad, I am driving. You are going to get me arrested. What? Told you to take that flight. Yes, Dad. Thank you, Dad. Dad's for you. And he knows I am driving. Oh, Holly, it's going to be late when you get reached back. Hope you're feeling all right. I would be feeling much better if you'd stop fucking texting me every two seconds. I am looking for a gas station. Whoa, 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 whoa. Quit wagging. 
Ah. Oh shit, did I uh... Hold on. You've almost pulled in. Come on. Turn. Oh my god, did I really get the car stuck? I think I glitched the car into getting stuck. Wait. 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 We're almost out. We're drifting our way through. Okay. Alright, let's do this intelligently. I'm assuming I'm, uh, our fuel tank is on the left. Is it? Oh, it's not. Where is it? Where's your gas cap at? Uh, doesn't matter. Let's go on inside. Ooh, a vending machine. Yeah. We can get some gra. I didn't want it. Wasn't feeling it. All right. Suit yourself. Yeah, right there. What's up, man? What about a snack? Ooh, cola, chocolate bar, mom. What? Holly? What? A meat snack? Nuts chocolate. Bubbles drink can. A carrot. A carrot drink. Well, now I've seen it all. Chocolate candies, grapefruit drink, cola bottle, chocolate nachos, chocolate bar. Do we gotta buy this meat snack? Who doesn't want a good meat, 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 meat snack? Meat, meat, meat. Consume. Did I eat it? Hello, friend. How's your night going? You just looked at me. Oh, okay. Hey, get back here. Where are you headed? You just looked at me. That's how you get killed. Well, fine. Be a dick. I didn't want to talk to you anyways. Uh. Uh. Who leaves this shit right on the counter? I wonder what this is. Hmm. I'm gonna need these. Ah! Take this. And, uh... Sweet cookies. Something lion. Sacred flakes. Let's get some wine. Wine and TP. Here, take this. And, uh... Bleach. There will be consequences. <laughs> I'm sorry. Ma'am? Hi, can I get $10 on pump 2? Don't mind the other shit that I picked up. You heading to the bridge by yourself? The bridge? The Norway Valley Road, I mean. Not a lot of people head down there at this time of the year. Be careful. What do you mean? For about a century now, many people have been going missing down there. 
and people who went looking for them never returned. Locals say the Norwood Valley monster had torn them up and hung them upside down on the trees. Can I use the toilet? It's not cleaned. One eternity later. Take this! Do it! I dare you! That's what you keep saying. Well, you didn't check out my wine! Fine. Oh, and one more thing. If you see a woman in a white or blue gown trying to get a ride, do not stop. Just step on the gas as hard as you can. Who is she? Some people say that she died in a car accident there on, the, on prom night. Some say that she seeks vengeance after she was murdered there. Regardless, she's out for blood. Whatever you do, never ever under any circumstances pick up a hitchhiker. Those people out there on the road putting their thumbs out, they ain't what you think, ma'am. They just ain't. Oh, that's, that's good advice. Never pick up a stranger. Mom! I don't know if I'll find any shop at this hour, but we're out of dog food. Could you get something from Milo? I'll pay you back. Jesus Christ. Fine. I think they had dog food. Wasn't this dog food? This looked dog foody. Pat Pat. I'll be five dollars, ma'am. Deuce! Ooh. Now I'll put it right there. We'll not leave it on top of the car. I promise. Do I have to, uh... Build this up? <laughs> no? We can just... Leave? I could just put that in the trunk. Yeah, it's, I mean, back seat, trunk, whatever. Close enough. And we're on our way. Away we go. I'm not sure at first. I went on without getting get why why that was not my intention I thought maybe it auto filled backing up backing up we're backing up we are backing up. Backing up. Backing up. We're almost there. We're almost there. We're getting there. <laughs> he did say pump two. Which one's pump two? <laughs> Hold on. Sorry. This one's pumped too. <laughs> there we go. I'm a fucking idiot. For some reason, I just assumed that I would have auto filled my gas, filled the tank off, and was on the road again. Intelligent. Why would I have gotten pumped from a pump that I wasn't parked at? I could have just gotten pumped at, like, whatever that one was. Oh, sorry, man. <laughs> Just keep driving, don't worry. I hit you. Alright, and we're on the road again. Whee! Being in the uh, monsters truly do exist. They sure do. And every single one of them looks just like you and me. What is with my parents and texting me while I'm in the middle of driving? What? Not expired or anything, right? I I don't know. I didn't check. I mean, you guys are more than welcome to like go drive to a gas station and get dog food or wh wherever. 
My headlights just go out. Oh, they're back. Okay. <laughs> yeah. What's that? Oh, we're coming up on a car. We'll just follow these people. Go faster. Oh, there they go. I'm not doing that anymore. That's just my horn broke. Man, our car is screwed, man. Well, at least we're alerting all of the uh, people in the area of our presence. This is extra safe driving. We will definitely scare up hitchhikers doing this. Done? Nope. Well, we're still going. Oh, here's the bridge. He told us something about the bridge, but I wasn't listening. Or paying attention. I swear that's not me pressing the horn the whole time. I pressed it one time, and now I from the left click by accident and now it's just going off yes the music of my people could you imagine a 12 hour road trip and this is what you have to deal with We're going all the way, baby. We don't stop. Hold on, we'd stop. All right, I gotta go see if there's anything in a... Would you shut up? Oh my god, we're so slow. This was probably a mistake. But I want to go see if there was anything up with that car. Any goodies? I'm always looking for the goodies. Nope, looks like just a broken down car. Nothing good. Okay. At least my car is easy to find. It's got uh, auto tracking on it. Hear that, baby? Listen to a purr. <laughs> it's a beaut. Oh, man. Hey. Oh, my God. Turning radius on this car blows. Oh, we finally shut it up. I just had to click it a bunch of times. There's a rabbit. Zoo, which one of you? Did you see you? Oh, at least the fucking radio's off, too. Yeah, it's driving me nuts. Nuts! There's this weird thing about at night. The two big logs in the middle of the road blocking the way ahead.
Can we move them? And we are strong. Hey, can, can you stop? Thank you. Perfect. Back in the car we go. All right. Let's ride. Oh, no, I did not get out. Drive. What do you want me to do? I saw a weird building over here. I can see what's up with this. Oh, it's a bear. <laughs> Almost scared me. Why can't we move? Oh, there we go, finally. Come on, baby. Car won't, wouldn't start back up. Oh, I guess we're going to do, uh... I think I was stranded out in the middle of nowhere with no phone service. I'm not saying I was starting to believe what whatever bullcrap the gas station clerk pulled. But I would be lying if I didn't say I didn't feel the slightest of unease. I don't mean to make this sound like a cliche horror story, but... Throughout my life, I was told not to take rides from strangers. But at the moment, I had no choice. I was scared to think how long it would take for someone to pass. I have a feeling someone will be passing very soon. 10.23 p.m. I saw a car nearing. Hey, you're right. I'm gonna just stand in front. Hey! Pure evil. Yeah, they ran me right over. Did not understand how somebody could leave another human being stranded like that? I mean, I probably would have left you too. I don't trust people to save my life. No chance. On a back road, am I picking somebody up? 10.43 p.m. Looks like our lights are starting to dim. Is there another car coming? There is. Hey. Hello. Yes. Give me a ride. Friendly pickup man. Give me a ride. Hi there, girl from the gas station. Yeah. Uh, didn't think anyone would stop for me here. What are you trying to do out of here? I think my car just broke down. I can't call for help. There's no phone service. You think I can get a ride? Where are you heading to? Uh, just as near a stop where I can call for help. 
Hop in. Thanks so much. Could you wait till I get my stuff? Hurry up. Just throw it in the back. Won't be here for too long. The hell do we possibly even need from here? Ah, we need the, the dog food. Seems good enough. I don't really care about the rest of my stuff. Ah. Wait, do I need to get more? It's not safe to get safe to get out of here. Alright. Put it in the trunk. Put it in the trunk. Alright, I'm all done. Need to hurry up. I don't have all day. I'm done. Finally, now hop in and be quick. Good job, man. You wouldn't even talk to me at the store before. Nice night we're having, huh? So don't tell me who you are or where you're going. So you won't tell oh, so you won't tell me who you are or where you're going. I'd rather not say if that's okay. Oh, I was driving home. That piece of crap broke down on me. What? My name's Jason. Oh, okay. Um, it's nice to meet you, Jason. We'll exchange mild pleasantries. He is doing me a favor. Really lucky I had been on the side road, uh, on this side of town tonight. I must say, you are one brave young woman. How's that? Got any clue what happened to your car back there? Uh, I think it was the battery. You sure? My dad's. It's pretty old. So what do you think about uh, what he told you back at the gas station? Uh, he's funny. Interesting. He tells that to every person traveling down here. Yeah, I could believe that. So it's true? What, the monster? Let's see, I've never seen the monster for myself, but there are... There are some things. And I'm afraid your car breaking town could have been one of them. Hey, listen, I don't want to sound like that moron, but just remember this. You don't bother them, and you don't be bothered. That's uh, sound advice. Keep your nose out of trouble, and trouble will never come to you. Am I right? You know what? I'm sorry for being a jerk to you before. Thank you! You remember! I'm not the best with people. That's okay, man. Neither am I. Let's turn on the radio. Oh, I can't click the radio. Twelve oh eight a.m. After a little bit of small talk, he dropped me by a motel. Apparently they offered roadside assistance. Besides, I thought I could use a little rest. Be careful, there are all kinds of people out there, he said ominously before leaving. Later. There's a tow truck. Not approved for occupancy. Well, I'm going to be occupying. At least for a night. Hey, guy. Man was putting out the creepiest vibes imaginable. Can I can I not talk to you? Oh, I gotta get closer. Gal need a room to shack up for the night? Oh, don't say it like that. Uh how much is it for um uh, um yes, I'm only going to be here for a few hours. Uh yes, how much? Forty for a single. Pay cash only. All right, thank God I have cash on me. Room number nine, right over there. Ninety dollars. Tommy will take it, uh, take care of it next thing in the morning. All right, we'll pay for that too. That cash only too. Good. I'll let Tommy know. And 
One last thing. Try not to wake the other guests. They might not take very nicely to it. Oh, well, that's that supposed to mean. You're assuming I'm going to cause ruckus all night just because I'm a young lady? Have a great night's sleep. What you reading? You got the holy book in here? Doesn't look like it. <laughs> oh, that door pushed me over here. All right. So we got some vending machines. All right, so there's one, and uh, I'm sure it's going to be, yeah. It's going to be right over here. It's probably this one. Ollie. Whoa. Yeah, all those undeliverables. Uh, so there's a dog guest for you. You don't need to pay me. It's not for how long? Okay. Uh, what did, what did, uh... Okay. Let me wait. Your dad's calling me. Oh. Everyone's worried. Yep, this was nine. All right. It's nice and warm inside. Heck yeah. This... Except there was a smell, a type of musky smell you get from old houses. Where's my mattress? I couldn't have slept there. Yeah, it doesn't seem to be so. Oh, jeez. What are you doing here? You scared the crap out of me. Who are you? I'm Tommy, room service, here from the Roadway Inn, the finest stopover in Norwood. What are you doing in there? You know, cleaning stuff. Guy at the front desk gave me this room. <laughs> Just gonna have to ask to step outside while I make the room. I'll get my stuff. Please wait outside. I said, uh, go get your stuff. Oh, that's fine. Please wait. Well, I'd like to see if they ever have anything extra to say. Um, do I even have any stuff? Where is my stuff? Is it still in here? Oh, it's here. Okay. Well, all right, let's start throwing this shit in the room. Oh, please don't tell me I could have used one of these. Now they don't move. Okay. At least I can kind of sprint now. Yeah! I'm gonna bury you alive in here. Okay, what's next? What's next? More stuff. All right. Pick up, pick up. Okay. Then we just got the dog food and one other suitcase. And we'll be done. There you go, that's for you. Keep an eye on that. Alright, it's one last trip. Grab our floating dog food, our duffel, and that should do it. At least we have a bed now. Pat, pat. There you go. And we're with Joe about the situation. What is wrong with these people? Mercy, mercy, mercy. But don't you worry. It's safe here. I go get your car. And also, the room's phone is not working. If you need anything, just ask the front desk. We've been trying to get it fixed, but we haven't been seeing enough guests lately. <laughs> but you have a good night. Well, get the fuck out of here. Look at that fucking walk. All right, well. I guess here we are. Now is when I'd be taking a nice shower and turning. Well, you have no reflection. I guess uh, we could turn the TV on. It's Superman.
Well, let's lay in bed and watch Superman. Who's pissing in my fucking bathroom? That's what that was, right? Can I not get up? Oh. Call foresight, but there was something very off about this place. Um. I couldn't shake the feeling. Yeah, I would, uh. I would say so. There's just someone staring at me. A hot cup of coffee could help, I thought to myself. Uh. Coffee, coffee, coffee. They don't supply. Free coffee here? One star review. You got a star. You're not gonna give me a working telephone. The least you can do is give me working coffee. Maybe the uh the vending machine. There was um There's one here and there's some down there too. Hey, look at this. Hey. I couldn't just go into any room. Oh, okay. We got espresso, cappuccino, French vanilla. Oh, none of those are available. Hmm. What about the espresso or the cappuccino? Let's get the espresso. It was free. At least this is free. I'm assuming these items help you stay awake. Sounds like a plan, dude. I love coffee. Co I mean, coffee for me knocks me right out. Who's that breathing? What? Oh, God. The controls are all reversed. Backwards is forwards, and right's left, and left is right, down is up. I think this is mine. Please be mine. It is. Uh. Dad, you're gonna have to wait for a second. Uh. I gotta lay down. I think that coffee might have been a. Uh, Drugged. <laughs> who, but who the hell is out here putting drugs in the coffee? I knew I should have gotten the cappuccino. I knew I should have gotten the cappuccino. That's why they're free. <laughs> I was sedated. Now it seemed like it. Who the hell is oh, the phone's working? Shut up! Okay, there we go. Let's turn Superman back on. It's Superman! Anyone out there? Oh! Who is it? Joe from the front desk, open the door! I don't know if, uh... Oh, you really are, Joe. Who is it? All right, all right, all right, all right. What's up, man? Didn't they specifically tell you not to wake anyone up? Oh, it's because of the Superman? I have complaints. What are you making all those goofy noises for? Whatever it is, just keep it down, miss. Is that why your eyes are all red? Mention the coffee machine. Dude, that coffee was drugged. You better check that shit out. Are you messing with me? 
We don't have no coffee machine here. Right over there. Okay, okay, here. I've heard enough from you crazy goons here for once. I thought we had a sober guest, but I guess I'm the crazy one here. I hate my job. All right, yeah, come, come on. It was, uh... You follow me? You are, all right. Yeah, man, that was right over here. Well, shit. It was here. I swear to God, it was right here. I say go back now. All right, all right. Did you not hear me? I said go back to the room and don't get out. Check the table by the TV. For what? There should be some medication in your room that should offer you some relief. Check the table by the TV. Okay. All right, all right. Fine. I'm the crazy one. Hmm. Well, I guess lesson learned. Don't drink coffee from the vending machines outside of a shady motel. You said by the TV, right? Ah, uh, yes, here we go. They don't have complimentary coffee, but they give you complimentary medication. Mmm. Requires water. Maybe we can actually use the tap water in this one. Come on, you could have swallowed those dry. Yum, yum, yum. Go, Superman, go! This doesn't look like Superman. <laughs> what is this? Am I creeping? Nope. Shut up for a second. Somebody should take a photo of me? <laughs> Nothing in the closet. Can you close the closet with you? Oh, you can! Huh. Well, something tells me this one's going to access my microphone. Which means I'll have to be very quiet. That's a hiding spot. Oh my god, there's just someone at the door. I can see him. It's right there. Uh, who is it? Please open the door. I need help. What do you want? I need your help. Please open the door. No? Please leave. I just need to talk to you. I swear I'm not a cop. Uh, please go away or I'm going to call the cops. <coughs> Pretty lady cop. Oh, fuck. Oh, yeah. Place. All right, now we have to be very, very. Oh no, God! <laughs> well, I guess he found me. 
Okay, so we're back at the part that we were at before when we died. <clears throat> so this time when we go to the closet, we're just going to shut the hell up. Something I'm usually not very good at. But I'm going to be silent this time. Ah, I'm going to whisper. Yo! Hotel man. This day, I find it really weird that the manager interf uh, inferred not to get the police involved as it would have affected the motel's reputation and let go of the situation. I believe that the town could have been home to a cult or a drug ring or possibly something even worse. Tommy arrived with the car after what felt like a year. I never went on a long, long road trips again. I would always take airplanes. Hey, that's it. So, that was episode two. Um, it was pretty good. Um, okay, but both of them were pretty short and sweet. Uh, they're both nice little little stories about you know. I'm assuming these are stories that actually happen to people since they have a submission about like sending them scary stories and stuff like that but uh either way uh that's gonna do it for that one um again if you like anything you see feel free to like subscribe leave a comment down below for comments concerns other games you'd like to see us play um and that'll do it for this one thank you so much and i will see you in the next one bye <laughs>